The hydration, overextraction, hyperthermia, and hypothermia are common threats in various environments. They can lead to fatigue, exhaustion, and even life-threatening situations. These instances pose risk to our well-being, but by implementing safety protocols, we can minimize their impact and ensure a safer experience. The significance of safety protocols lies in their ability to prevent these dangers from disconnecting. By taking simple measures, we can protect ourselves and those around us. By following safety protocols, we reduce the risk of dehydration, overexertion, hypothermia, and hypothermia, allowing us to fully enjoy our activities while staying safe. Dehydration This occurs when your body loses more fluids than it takes in, leading to an imbalance in the body's electrolyte and water levels. It can happen for various reasons, such as excessive sweating, inadequate fluid intake, certain medical conditions, or environmental factors. So the symptoms of this include thirst, dry or sticky mouth, fatigue and weakness, dizziness or lightheadedness, as well as muscle cramps. To prevent this, we must always stay hydrated. Drink plenty of fluids throughout the day. Monitor the urine color. We should aim for pale yellow or clear urine. Be mindful of the activity and weather. Limit strenuous activities during the hottest parts of the day. Dress appropriately for lightweight, breathable clothing, as well as seek medical attention, especially if you're the elderly or children. Overexertion. This is where a person works or exerts themselves beyond their capabilities. It is the use of too much mental or physical effort. You can know if you are feeling overexertion if you have its symptoms which are dizziness, soreness, fatigue, and having difficulty breathing. This is to name a few. You can prevent overexertion by relaxing, getting some sleep, taking a break, doing less work, and if you really need it, getting medical treatment. The next one is hyperthermia. Hyperthermia is described as an abnormally high body temperature or overheating. This occurs when your body absorbs or generates more heat than it can release. One of the known forms of hyperthermia is heat stroke, which could be fatal. So how would you know if a person is experiencing hyperthermia? Some of the symptoms of hyperthermia are blurred vision, fast breathing or heart rate, fatigue, headache, lightheadedness, low blood pressure, muscle cramps, nausea and vomiting, and weakness. If you or someone is experiencing hyperthermia, these are some of the things that you could do to handle it. First, stop physical activity if you're currently doing one. Rest in a cool, well-ventilated area. Remove heavy or tight clothing. Consume drinks with electrolyte. Apply a cool compress to your skin. Keep irritated skin dry and gently stretch any muscles that are cramping. Now let's define hypothermia. Hypothermia is caused by prolonged exposure to very cold temperatures. It also means that the body begins to lose heat faster than it's produced. What are the symptoms of hypothermia? These include shivering, exhaustion and feeling very tired, confusion, humbling hands, memory loss, slurred speech, and drowsiness. Now how do we treat hypothermia? We need to get the person into a warm room or shelter, remove any wet clothing the person is wearing, warm the center of person's body using an electric blanket or skin-to-skin -skin contact under loose, dry layers of blankets, clothing, towels, or sheets. We need to warm drinks can help increase body temperature and keep the person dry and rub their body in a warm blanket. We also need to get the person's proper medical attention as soon as possible. 